flames spreading at lightning speed around Gaza. Israeli firefighters have been working around the clock for several days to bring the blaze under control. These fires have been caused by Palestinian incendiary kites, their flaming tails turning them into weapons of mass destruction. We soak these rugs in petrol, we set them on fire and then we fly the kites into Israeli territory. They may look like toys but these kites can cause huge damage. Crucially, they're both cheap and easy to make. A kite costs no more than two euros, while it costs them millions of euros in damages. Some 2,500 hectares of land have gone up in flames, causing over one million euros worth of damage. Flames are now threatening nearby towns and cities, causing widespread panic among residents. Mom, I'm scared. Don't worry. I can't believe it. The kites have become a potent symbol of the wave of anger sweeping Gaza. Thousands have demonstrated along the border since March as part of the March of Return commemorating the founding of the State of Israel. Despite being mostly non-violent, protesters have been met with Israeli bullets, killing at least 125 Palestinians. Flaming kites, meanwhile, have proved a challenge for Israel's Iron Dome air defense system. The country has deployed mini drones to intercept them, as seen on these images provided by the Israeli army. Israel says it's brought down at least 500 homemade kites since March. Tensions, meanwhile, remain sky high.